What happened in Bomas was very unfortunate. I did not speak about it yesterday when we had the press conference with uh, my family because in ilikuwa na kizunguzungu ya medication na madawa but um, I have an injury at the back of the head and an injury on the neck because a sharp point of uh, a legs a chair uh, hit me on the neck and I also have an other injury from go but by the grace of god i'm alive um, today i'm feeling better yesterday i think i was under you know a lot of medication so i got dizzy um, pain killers but uh, and and uh, even uh, antibiotics but today i'm better chenye ilifanyika bomas was very unfortunate and it happened in the full glare of national tv the people incited it and leaders holding state office the member of parliament for waraka honorable tj kajwan the honorable member of parliament for or the dishonorable member of parliament for dagoreti north beatrice elachi the dishonorable member of parliament for makadara yoja ladwa and these are members of parliament of odm so i don't know whether this is uh, this is odm's way of doing things um and odm has been supported uh, odm has been supported by kenyans for a long time uh, i don't think whether this is how they should pay back for the support they've received and uh, odm has been very violent even in other occasions i even witnessed a press conference where the honorable kalonzo musyoka was supposed to uh, address a press conference and odm goons walked in and uh, just away Kalonzo Musyoka so i don't know whether they believe to be the only ones capable of violence uh, i don't know whether they believe that or that they believe they are the kings of violence and nobody can beat them when it comes to violence or can be more violent than them but all i can tell them is that uh, revenge belongs to god and uh, for me i will not lose sight of my mission to turn around and start planning revenge against them i'll stay focused on my mission and uh, the kenyan people are going to avenge whatever they did and that they've done to many other people i'm sure i'm not the only one who's been violently attacked by odm trying to kill you see when you throw more than 50 30 chairs at someone you don't intend to warn them that's not a warning you actually intend to kill them because kitu pia mtu kiti ya chuma kwa kichwa viti zaidi ya 30 unataka kumuua kwa hivyo yule MCA ambaye alikuwa amevaa koti ya pink kwa kamera na kwa video anaitwa Ringo nao vijana ambao wanatembea na Joja Ladwa na wanatembea na Beatrice Lach na wengine wao wanatembea na na ndobo TJ Kajwan mlifanya kitendo ya unyama lakini pia kitendo ya aibu kubwa mliaibisha hiyo chama yenu na mliaibisha kabila yenu kwa sababu sisi kama wa Kenya hatutaki kuanza kupigana kikabila na kusema oo oh, hii kabila imefanyia kabila yetu hii as Kenya we want to be one united country and our problems as Kenyans are common. Shida zetu hata wao wenyewe walikuwa wananipiga si ati wao watafaidika na social health insurance eh, yo chief. Si ati wao wako sawa ati watoto wao wakipita waende university funding model itawa favor. Labda ita favor viongozi lakini not the goons. The goons hata wao wananunua vitu kwa maduka hapa Kenya na hapa Nairobi they know how expensive things have become wanalipa rent hapa Nairobi wanajua vile rent imekuwa expensive wanajua vile kuna insecurity kwa communities wanajua vile corruption imetuumiza na imeharibu nchi yetu na pesa wanalipwa hata sio ya maana ni pesa kidogo sana ambayo iweze kubadilisha maisha yao lakini kama uchumi yetu ingekuwa vizuri they would not be even a gun for any politician they would be doing their businesses or they will be employed somewhere 
So what they did was criminal. I'm surprised that the police have not done anything about it. The director of criminal investigation has not done anything about it. The inspector general of police has not done anything about it. And, uh, and I don't think they have a plan of doing anything. The police service wa menyamaza. Na DCI wa menyamaza. Meaning they silently approve whatever happened. Uh, I think police wanajaribu kutuambia kwamba mtu yote ambaye anapinga serikali you are attacked and injured or killed that's okay that, that's okay wale watu ambao wao wanataka ku defend ni wenye wako pande ya serikali ama wenye wana support hii serikali ya ufisadi hivyo ndivyo polisi wanatuonyesha na kama ni hivyo i don't know why we still pay taxes to them to, to the government because hiyo bunduki polisi wamebeba ni ushuru wetu na hiyo risasi ni ushuru wetu na hiyo uniform wamevaa ni ushuru wetu na mshahara yao ni ushuru wetu so as police why are you partisan why, why are you being used by politicians because mimi nilifika bombers nilipofika kwa gate askari ndio walinizuia kuingia na wakunizuia ati huko kuna shida usiingie utapatana na shida walikuwa wananizuia as morara nisiingie when i managed to go in nilipita milango tatu za bombers kama sifunguliwi milango ya kwanza wakani block they didn't open for me milango ya pili wakani block they didn't open for me milango ya tatu they didn't open for me actually i blame myself for not seeing the red flags mimi nasema hata kama tunasema walifanya makosa hata mimi i should have seen that there was something yeah i should have seen the red flag but anyway when i got in na ivurugi kazuka there were more than 100 police officers in bombers on that day outside i don't know why they didn't do anything why they didn't come in to quell the 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 the, the chaos because i didn't go in with any group nilienda peke yangu ningeingia na group ndio ungesema group mbili zimepigana but i went alone na watu walinipiga sio wananchi it's not the public the public in fact were demanding ni pewe microphone tj kajwanga kikatani si pewe nionge uh, watu walini attack walikuja specifically kutoka nyuma ya dais ya tj kajwang na tj kajwang ndiye ali point na hata ali inside tv wakisikia na kila mkenya akisikia na hata aliongea kwa kijaluo The question is kama ilikuwa shida yangu na wajaluo My first rally ni mwai kufanya Kenya ni Kondele mbona sikupigwa mawe Kondele I believe the Luo people are very peaceful loving It's just a few people want to intentionally and specifically give them a bad name Mimi nataka kusema mimi mambo ya ukabila I'm beyond it and I'm not going to participate kwa mambo ya ukabila Na mambo ya political violence I'm not going to participate si ati nimeshindwa ama sina uwezo ya ku mobilize for political violence but if we play by the rules that these people are playing then how are we better than them i as morara kebaso i'm trying to groom and bring up myself as an alternative young leader and not just me alone but i'm trying to inspire other young leaders to join me in the inject party inject stands for inclusion of national justice economic and civic transformation so i even want other young leaders to also join me but when these young leaders join me they'll be asking what is the philosophy of this party what do we stand for me pia are you violent like odm i do you stand for beating up people and injuring them and so on and, you know and i will be telling them no we don't stand for violence we just want a better kenya right so hiyo kitu ilifanyika ni tendo la aibu kwa hiyo chama na kwa wanachama wake hata kwa viongozi wao the police have refused to take any action ni sawa as police hivyo vile mnafanya sijali it will come uh, to bite you one as police when you refuse to be independent you know you can go to my twitter investigate me for a tweet i made about david langat and arrest me 
mnizungushe police station kama tano unajua walinitoa yamba police station walinitoa Nairobi area police station police headquarters wakanipeleka DC headquarters wakanipeleka Kiamba wakanipeleka Ruiru wakanipeleka Thika na wakanipeleka Kamkunji If you can do all that because of a tweet a tweet which David Langat never complained but you cannot do this for violence that has been seen yet the work of the police is to protect life and property so if you don't care about my life you as police why don't you care about the property that was destroyed anyway ni sawa hivyo vile mnafanya apandacho mtu atavuna atavuna tu hiyo once the police become partisan and start playing for politicians and working as errands for politicians they will reap what they sow now my intention for going to bomas i could have said this yesterday but as i've told you during the family meeting nilikuwa na a lot of busyness because of medication but uh, right now i'm better i have injuries on the neck and on the back of the head and on my leg but uh, let's just say i'm good niko sawa uh, niko sawa god has kept me safe i was not paralyzed i didn't receive a permanent injury i was treated at the nairobi hospital but when i realized that uh, the media has realized that i'm at nairobi hospital i shifted to another hospital so that i can be treated wamenifanyia scan ya kichwa ya shingo they've treated me well na niko sawa i'm back to work and the work is this the work is the impeachment ya honorable rigathi gashagwa should not be a tribal affair na mimi nimejaribu sana to ensure it's not a tribal affair kwa sababu kuna vile alikuwa ameanza kupata sympathy ya watu wa Mount Kenya. Nataka kushukuru watu wa Mount Kenya for saying kufa gari kufa dereva because watu wa Mount Kenya wamekuwa loud sana kwa hiyo maneno. You know Mount Kenya in itself has 4 to 5 million votes which means if change is going to come to Kenya especially through the ballot it has to begin in Mount Kenya because they have a lot of votes they should first champion or leaders toward that change and that change is not regarding gashagwa because wakati mnamuonea huruma mnasema oh hiyo ni mtu wetu anapigwa you are making a presidential candidate you are giving someone influence and this person is going to use his influence atafanya vitu mbili aidha atauzia william ruto so watazameana waseme eh, ile ilikuwa mambo ya shetani ni raila ndiye aliingia kwa serikali akavuruga tuseme he will sell the influence you given him to William Ruto or he'll run for president himself na mkimchagua mtakuwa mmeruka from the frying pan to the fire we want change in kenya and we want to change away from corruption every single thing kenyans are talking about that has a problem i morara i want to tell you that the problem is corruption if you look at the healthcare sector the reason it has failed completely is because of state capture and corruption people are thinking about making money ni kuiba pesa ya medical equipment ni kuiba pesa ya madawa ni madaktari kujaribu ku divert wagonjwa to private clinics it's just corruption ndio imeua hiyo sector if you come to education it is corruption that has killed the sector you know university is trying to make money in unscrupulous ways yeah um help trying to do this and that funding of universities you know money being stolen through funding of universities you know pero the role of students as fake students the role of schools as fake schools textbooks you know is a big procurement scandal this is what has killed the key sectors of our country corruption 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 if you deal with corruption you solve 90% of the problems in Kenya and that is why my message has always been against corruption The reason they brought the impeachment motion against Rigathi Gashagwa is so that we divert our attention. Tuache kufikiria Adani, tuache kufikiria Shif, tuache kufikiria vile wagonjwa wanakufa hospitalini, tuache kufikiria vile corruption imetuumiza, barabara ni mbaya, wananchi wanaumia uchumi ni mbaya, people are not making money, businesses are closing, you know, industries are closing, watu wamepoteza majob 
when you work on a majob work over tax they didn't want us to focus on this issue they wanted us to focus on something else na nilipo realize kwamba siwezi ku divert your attention because you know the government some of these people own media houses and the government advertises on media houses so media houses wa meshik wa mahali so that if they don't broadcast what these people want then they don't get government tenders to advertise and it's millions and billions of money so because of that the media has made it a, you know, a national issue not that it has become a national issue nikasema hivi let's also make it our business wacha tuingie kwa hiyo national issue to participate kwa hiyo mambo ya impeachment na participation yetu ni gani let's both of them go rigadi gashago is not better for kenya i mean there is no doubt that rigadi gashago is corrupt there is no doubt that he is tribal there is no doubt that he is incompetent there is no doubt that he sabotages the president no i don't like president william ruto i don't like him but one of us me or you who is watching this video one day you will be a president you can't have a deputy sabotaging you all the time at you kona robi ya na whole press conference mombasa talking about the nis a very sensitive national security organ of which vitu kama hizo ni vitu za kuongewa kwa bodro when you are a deputy president your job is to deputize the president if you feel you can no longer be a deputy president toka resign and come out here and do politics so even if i hate or dislike william ruto or don't like him as a president because he's a liar he likes lying and corrupt and all these things i don't support the disrespect of our president by a deputy president that i don't support because a deputy president's work is to deputize he's behaving like an opposition leader and we are here hey akia sasa kufanya opposition within government sisi tufanye kazi gani and if rigadi gashagwa has decided to be an opposition leader it's okay let him tell us the truth he says is a truthful man atuambie the truth about adani atuambie the truth about shift atuambie the truth about university funding model atuambie the truth about finance bill atuambie the truth about the bribing of members of parliament atuambie the truth about corruption about line 5 petroleum eh, 40 billion for the petroleum line 5 from you know um mombasa to narobi atuambie about 12 billion loss from treasury atuambie about 15 billion za e citizen zenye zimepotea atuambie ama zijulikani kama ziko ama hakuna atuambie about 400 million ya kiricho green stadium ya madaraka de la stia let him tell us the truth they've already told us how gashagwa is corrupt why is he not willing to tell us how they are corrupt so iko iko kitu hapo so me i don't mind if he is impeached i don't mind it's good riddance it's one bad person down and it's good because it will set a precedent that a deputy president or a president can be impeached but the reason we are saying impeach both is because we want to remove the tribal factor from that equation so that it's not about tribalism anymore it's about accountability it's about leaders being accountable as morale will continue to champion for the rights of uh, Kenyans not because of permission or because lazima munishabikie or because of anything but because this is a personal decision that comes from inside my heart and i will not do it even for money or for anything i'll do it because i believe in it and those who believe in me can continue supporting me and um, lastly there's been this conversation about leaderless and individualism and what i can say is that usijidanganye in kenya we have leaders who have been born young and middle class uh, middle age and old there are leaders of integrity stop stepping on those leaders ati mtu akikama hapo mnasema oh you are being individualistic you want to personalize the moment you want to be yes we are leaders that's why the media keeps calling us activists because it doesn't want to call us leaders because they don't want us to be leaders these people are only afraid when we plan to take leadership Otherwise, they don't care when we call them corrupt they know they are corrupt and they know that their electorate knows that they are corrupt and will still elect them as corrupt so what do we do as kenyans hizi shida zote tuko nazo hatuwezi fanya maandamano ya adani tufanye maandamano ya agricultural bill tufanye maandamano ya bill nyingine wameleta ya extend term limit tufanye maandamano ya ibc let's combine all those issues into one ruto and gashagwa must go that one regime change let's combine all our issues regime change 
Otherwise, I'll be having more conversations with you. I'm back in circulation and I hope the Lord will go before us.